Welcome to this video on the accordion and tabs interactions in Articulate Rise. So we're going to have a look at a few of the interaction options to make your e-learning course really interactive and engaging for your users. So there's a couple that we're going to look at today that are very similar. So they've got kind of similar bits of functionality going on. So I thought I'd group them together into one video. So just like any other course, if you're adding in any blocks, any interactions, you're going to click on the plus unless you've got the interaction options down the bottom and you'll see the block library open up on the left hand side. And these are in the interactive section. And what you'll see, the top two options there are accordion and tabs. And this is really useful where you've got loads of information. And rather than having it scrolling down your page, you want to group some together. So maybe you've got information about three different sections. Maybe you've got three different examples or something like that to give. And accordion and tabs will be quite useful. So let me add one of both. So whenever you click on one, it just puts a placeholder in there. And I'll add an accordion and a tabs in there. So let's just come out of that and have a little look because you can see in there exactly what it looks like. So just like any other block on the right hand side, you can move them up and down. You can copy them and delete them. And on the left hand side there, you have your selection option. And you can see the reason why I've included these in the same video. It's because you can flick easy between the two of them and it will keep the text that you've added in the images and things like that, which is quite helpful because they are so similar. They're just kind of like ones going down and ones going across. So you can switch them around and use them both, but they have similar functionality. Just like anything else, you can edit the content with the pencil. You can look at the styling and you can also look at the format. And obviously if I click on these, you can see some placeholder text and maybe images have been added in. So you can see it's something that the user will have to click on and open to see text, maybe images, maybe video and things like that. And I'm just going to close these down. And if we just have a look further down at the tabs option, again, you're just going to click across and it's all in one place, but the content is there and you've got a lot more content in a smaller interaction and it'll just allows people to click on. Could even be used for a process if you want to show the steps. That's sometimes quite useful as well. So let's go and have a look at some of the options in the accordion first. If I have a look at the style, you can just see I've got colours there and white background on cards at the bottom. That's an option there. I can even put an image if I wanted to. In the format section on my accordion, I've got my padding in my blocks. I can select either keep items open or only open one item at a time, which is what I really like to do. Otherwise, the user might have to close them down. Otherwise, it just extends really far, especially in the accordion option. It's just really big and busy. So I always set it to only open one item at a time. And then when someone opens another one, it will automatically close any that have previously been opened. And you can obviously enable the zoom on image. If we just have a look at the options on the tabs one in the style section, it's exactly the same. You've got colors, background and format there. You've got the padding and you've got enable zoom because obviously you're clicking across. So you're not really having to close anything down. It's automatically closed. Okay, so in the accordion, if I go on the pencil, you can see it will preset some text and information in there just to give you an example of what that might look like. So I've got my header there, so I can get rid of this if I need to. Select on that one. And then in the description, this is where I'm going to pop my text in. And as soon as I select anything, just like any other bit of text entry, I've got all my different options. I can add bullets, I can add links, I can change the colour of my text. I can bold certain things, underline, italic, anything that I need to do. So I've got a few really nice options and you can see I've got an undo in there as well, which is quite useful if I've made an error. If I'm going to add an image in there, you can see I've got the edit option. I can replace media. I can go from the content library. I can embed and obviously I can crop. I can add alt text, uh, alt tags, which I'm going to do to make my course more accessible. And I can also remove it if I don't want an image or any sort of media in there. 
And if I do have that in there, you can obviously have a look at the alignment options and see whether you want to align it left, center, right, or full width. And you can always see there is, if you hover over anything, you'll find a bit of information out about it. So it's really, really helpful. Item two and item three have, again, pre-populated some, some information for you, but you can go in and edit them. They don't have a pre-populated image or video file or anything, but just click on that icon and you can go and upload that piece. If you obviously want to add more rows into your accordion, you're just going to click on add item and it will just open up a new section for you to go in and do it. And if you wanted to get rid of it, there is a little rubbish bin in the top right hand corner. So you can just click that and it's gone. And if I just come out of that for a second, you can see the header there has changed but everything else is pretty similar because I've not done many edits at the moment. But what you will notice if I click on the second one, the first one automatically closes and it's a much better experience for your users. So let's just have a look at editing the tabs one then. Again, really similar if I click on content, I've got the exact same bit of information, but just the format is a little bit different here. I can add a header, add text, format my text any way I want to, add my images, my videos, my embeds, whatever I need to do, and decide my alignment. And obviously again, if I scroll down, if I want to add more tabs, I would just add an item and you can see on the screen, there is a blank tab waiting for me to put information in there. If I just put the word test in, you can see it's popped up at the top there. And if you keep adding more, there will be an arrow that appears to tell people to keep moving across to the right in order to have a look at all of the tabs. And again, if I just want to get rid, I will click on the rubbish bin. So a couple of really useful interactions that you can play around with if you've got a lot of information you want to present to people and you want to present it in a little bit of a different way rather than just having loads of paragraphs and images, you can break it down in a few different ways and mix and match using the tabs or the accordion just to keep that interact interactivity nice and fresh and interesting within your course. So please do have a go at those. Don't forget to like and subscribe and let me know what videos you'd like me to record next.